Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. We are back on the survival series. Now, because of the what you saw in the title, you've probably guessed that today I will be attempting to travel to the nether dimension. Now, how on earth am I supposed to do that? I need obsidian to make a portal, and the only way to get obsidian is through having a diamond pickaxe. Well, while I was mining out way down here, I'm at uh, block four right now, I found diamonds, a vein of four diamonds, which I mined and is uh, back at my base. Um, but I also found several pools of lava that I can then mine. So I have one obsidian block right there that I was gonna turn into a generator, and I found this. And I thought that's probably not gonna be enough for a portal, but then up through here, I found this. And this should definitely be enough for a portal. So today, obviously, I'm going to be constructing another portal, going through it, and briefly exploring the nether. So first things first, I need to uh, wait for this to stop lagging. And I'm going to go craft a diamond pickaxe. So I should have one diamond remaining after I do that, uh, which I will save for the future to make an enchantment table. That will be the next thing that I make after this pickaxe as far as diamonds go. As you can see, I have been working on the base like I promised. I pretty much finished the smelting room. Maybe I'll add some texture to it uh, in the future, but this is about as far as I will go in that department. Um, over here, you can see my storage room is coming along quite nicely. Um, the only part left that I have to finish uh, will be oh, that's not supposed to go there will be um, to add all the item frames and in order to do that I'm going to need to actually find some cows llamas or horses that I can uh, unfortunately will yet yeah, kill um, so the reason I got those three was because a wandering trader came through and whatnot so I got the uh, materials from that um, now here is the problem. I have not found a single sheep yet. I know that sounds really sad, but I still have not found a single sheep, meaning I still can't make a bed. That's a problem because that means that I'll be making a nether portal and traveling to the nether long before I even have a set spawn point. Now you're thinking, what if I just make a respawn anchor in the nether? Well, I believe that's even harder to make than a bed. And a bed, I'm not saying a bed is hard to make, not at all. Um, but yeah. Uh, another thing that you may have noticed is that I have full iron, full iron armor once again, which I am quite excited about. And I actually made a shield this time because I've been uh, pushing the limits of just about dying. And that's not a fun thing. So... Here we go, guys. Diamond pickaxe. Oh, yeah. All right, now I just gotta make sure I can keep it. So, yeah, I've been getting most of my food lately from going fishing. I actually caught this fishing rod, which has mending and luck of the sea, too, which is incredibly good. Uh, I've expanded my farm just a little bit, but it's still not enough to uh, really act as my main food supply. Oh, and I'm being shot at now. Oh. There we go. That was annoying. Alright, so now let's go mine some obsidian. This should be fun. Okay, just to be absolutely certain that I'm that this works. I mean I know it works, but we're just gonna grab this first piece of obsidian. And now I'm trying to remember how much obsidian you need to make a portal. Now I could do it with the corners. Uh, on or off now to make it cheaper. I'll probably leave them off unless there is enough for them on which there should be So I'm trying to think it's a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I think I need twelve um, I mean that's that's totally doable. I'm just Crunching some numbers here. So twelve and I have one already So this is the easiest way in my opinion that one could possibly obtain all this. Uh, why did that happen? I heard some more. 
Oh, and look at that. There's iron right beneath it. Uh, but we're not here for iron. We're here for obsidian. And if we find diamonds, I'll take that too. Because, you know, why not? So I think I'm going to do a quick time lapse of myself uh, collecting all of this. Because you probably do not want to see me slowly but surely uh, getting all this. So, yeah. Let's, let's do that. So we have reached that time. It is the time to construct our nether portal. But I just realized something. I have not made any flint and steel to actually activate the portal. But being that there's a ton of gravel down here, uh, I'm not worried about that at all. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our obsidian and we're gonna actually make the portal the entrance. Because before I've just done this so that most mobs can't fit through, but that's not really the most efficient system. So I figured if we build a portal right here, that'll be much easier. Okay, uh, so actually I said I wasn't gonna use the corners, so one, uh, yeah, that works, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and now it's dark, seven, eight, and we got nine and 10, nine, 10, all right. Now, only one thing remains, activating it, of course. So, uh, let me put these torches down just so it can be a little bit brighter. Uh, it's a little too dark for my liking, to be perfectly honest. Much better, okay. And now that it is uh, nearly morning, yes, it's nearly morning. So we won't have to worry about too many mobs. So let's go craft ourselves some uh, flint and steel. You're probably wondering why I didn't just use the uh, gravel down there. Well, that's because I don't have a shovel and I want to use a shovel to make it go by faster. And I'm being attacked right now. Okay, and I'm being shot. We're just gonna quickly make our way to the top find the gravel which is in this chest right here i'm just gonna take we don't even need that much i'll just take one yes i'm feeling overconfident but there is a method to my madness um and it goes like this so let me just uh yeah i, I know i seem broke for doing this but yeah i'm literally just using a stone shovel here's all you got to do place down the gravel boom okay it didn't drop any uh flint so we're gonna do it again and we're gonna keep doing it until it eventually drops it just like that perfect okay so now we got our flint so we can craft our flint and steel boom all right here we go guys i'm pretty excited this is a big milestone even though we've got our milestone our milestone priorities mixed up we started with a nether portal as opposed to a bed don't judge me here we go in three Two, one. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. A nether portal. This will be my first time going into the nether in the 1.16 update, update on survival mode. So, I mean, I've gone, I've been in the nether in survival mode in this update, but not like purely survival mode, like a series or anything like this. So this is the first time, so I'm excited. Here we go. Hopefully there's no ghasts nearby. And we're in the nether. Okay, so honestly, this is not a bad start because we're near a ton of soul sand and soul soil. We've got a nice big lava lake. There's a basalt, uh, what's it called, a basalt thingy. And we're near plenty of netherrack. And unfortunately, plenty of zombie pigmen that are attacking me? Or not attacking me. They are attacking me. I can't tell. I think they are. 
I don't know quite how this works. So I think I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm getting out of here, guys. This is a very dangerous situation. And there's a gas. This is very bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Hopefully I can make it through the portal in time. I made it through, guys. I made it through. We're through. Okay. So as you could clearly see, um, the nether has changed significantly because now there are extremely hostile mobs. The, what are they, just the, just pigmen? Is that what they're called, just pigmen? Or is it zoglins? Or, I, don't, I don't remember. Uh, but they hate me and I didn't do anything. I've heard that if you drop them like a gold ingot or something, uh, then you're, they're basically your best friend and they'll give you something else. But if I hit one, then the rest of them are going to come after me. So I think it would be a good idea if for now I just stick in the overworld. They add some like special cool looking quartz designs to our builds. Oh, and there's lava. Okay. This is why I got rid of all my stuff. Okay, please don't die on me now. Please don't die on me now. I'm, I'm going to end up dying. Oh, come on. Please. No, I died. That's really, really unfortunate. Oh, no, guys. Look where I respawn. I respawn here. Oh, no. I'm going to have to find my way back to base. My stuff. It should all be here. Look at that. There it is. All my stuff. Okay, so I'm not going in the nether for a while. I'm going to stay here in the overworld because it's safer. But I lost all of my tools, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have to start, not from scratch, which is the nice thing. Um, but I do have enough armor to, st or enough iron to start working on some armor. And there is a cave system right there, which I might follow. But I will also continue just mining straight down and whatnot. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. We did a lot, but a little. We made a huge... Uh, milestone and hopefully uh, the streak of good luck continues so if you liked the video make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one see you later